हेलो Welcome to iiocs.com Food Tech Club. Today we will learn technology of preservation of pickles, chutneys and sauces. So in India we know that pickles, chutneys and sauces are very much popular and even abroad also. So all over the world this is like pickle, chutney, it is uh, salivating. These uh, food product pickles chutneys with a side as a side dish we will be having and uh, sauces and all bread spread are ok uh, for the bread and all we will be applying and we will be eating and for samosa so for and even chutneys also so we will we enjoy these products and now we will learn how these products will be preserved and what is the technology be behind why these products will can be uh, stored for several days what is the technology behind the these preserved food because uh, we can s uh, store this one for few days uh, means uh, shelf life will be good so how the shelf life is good in these cases that one we will study Now, in case of pickle, nutritional and health benefits of these uh, fermented pickles like it will lower the cholesterol, serum cholesterol and immunity booster it is and prevent the cellular damage and also it protects from the diabetes and anti-mutagenic anti activity and also it improves the digestion and enhance the gut microbiome. So, good microbiome will be enhanced and also the broad spectrum of antimicrobial and auto aggregation and co aggregation like that so many utilize means the benefits we can see here and also it enhance the sensory quality and uh, shelf life also the good shelf life we are having and warehouse of the valuable of nutrient valuable nutrients and antioxidants so the pickles will be it will be rich of nutrient and also antioxidants. So the pickle it is the process of preserving food by anaerobic fermentation in brine to produce lactic acid or we can say that ok lactic acid may be producing otherwise the marinating and storing it in acid solution. It will be marinated and uh, then it will be stored in an acid solution. Usually vinegar that is acetic acid, the resulting food is called whatever the this process outcome will be, we will call it as a pickle. So pickles are usually made up of uh, the mainly the main ingredient may be the mixture of vegetables or fruit. So it is eaten as a savory, spicy and uh, with the meal it will be eaten the pickles and uh, the preserved the pickles are preserved by the combination of increased acidity nothing but the pH will be less so reduced pH and increased acidity and added salt and reduced moisture and added spices so these ingredients mainly this also plays an important role in preservation that is uh, the salt and uh, reduced moisture and the uh, added spices so because of all these things we can see the increase in acidity nothing but the pH will be less so p pickles can be prepared using one or two main methods uh, these uh, like lactic acid fermentation of vegetables maybe with or without addition of the salt and with the 
the okay with the or without addition of the salt the preservation of vegetables in acetic acid or vinegar will be happening and the products made by these two methods with or without um, the salt these are it will different from its own taste and texture will be varying so vegetables such as cucumber cabbage olive uh, and onion these and all fermented by lactic acid bacteria which can grow in low concentration of the salt so very less concentration of the salt will be there in that it will be grown so the bacteria ferment the bacteria it will ferment the sugars in the food to form a lactic acid then it prevents the growth of poisoning bacteria because of the acidic condition this lactic acid bacteria um, uh, it will ferment the sugar then it will form the lactic acid the so because of this acidic condition it will stop the growth of food poisoning bacteria and molds and the amount of salt which will added it will control the the see that bacteria will produce the lactic acid that lactic acid production should be controlled so who will control salt salt the presence of salt will control the rate of fermentation so if the 2 to 5% of the salt is used then fermentation is carried out by the series of bacteria that is produced um, that and because of that it will produce the lactic acid 2 to 5% then the pickle is preserved by the high level of acidity and the higher level of salt like 16% in this the product is preserved by the high salt concentration rather than the fermentation that is known as a salt stock pickle okay in 2 to 5% of salt fermentation will happen and uh, the 16% of salt is used means that is nothing but the salt stock pickle and fruit and vegetables can be semi processed and stored for a uh, many months by preserving in high salt solution this is also happen so they can be further processed into pickle and next later into the in the season also means uh, in irrespective of any season we can use these pickles see you here you can see in the picture the different types of pickles are here and also here also you can see the different types of pickles okay they are preparing hmm? and here the mango thing how nicely the all the ingredients what to be added so this is a traditional traditional method of preparing the mango pickle so these are the containers in which pickle can be stored for years and years more than years also okay very nicely it will be stored and even i also experienced that one whatever my mother will be preparing and she will be keeping in this one year and more than year it, it will be good mean it is no other means sensory evaluation uh, everything sensory characteristic everything will be uh, good it will be in good condition only that is what i observed it is my own experience so sometimes sugar is added to increase the rate of fermentation or to make the product sweeter and pickles prepared by fermentation are it, generally it will not be heated okay therefore we have to take a very strict attention because for the cleanliness and hygiene and the concentration of salt ph of the mi mixture and temperature of the fermentation must these and all the things we have to control to ensure the good fermentation and to prevent the growth of undesirable bacteria so the concentration of salt ph and mixture um, okay so these and all the temperature of the fermentation we have to control and vegetables pickled in acetic acid have the salt and sugar added these are not fermented and therefore have a different texture and flavor so the here also you can see the how the pickle are 
how they are doing the bottling so the preservation canning the preservation of fruits and vegetables it is in the form of pickles chutneys sauces generally it started this art began from the home then now the present major part of the world's supply of these produced like commercial plants we can get n number of these product different brand okay so the basic raw material and quality control brining physico chemical aspects texture color flavor composition packaging processing storage new recipes and these and all will determines the type of uh, type and variety of the pickle fruits and vegetables preserved in uh, in common salt vinegar oil or citrus fruit juice these are also called as uh, nothing but pickle okay these and all the vegetables means the pickle again one more definition you can tell the fruits and vegetables preserved in common salt vinegar oil or citrus fruit juice is called as a pickles like example mango lime carrot bitter gourd beans chillies garlic ginger brinjal onion this and all processed for pickles so these are the steps see how they are uh, giving heat treatment for the container to use the lids and cutting the good one and how they are adding the brine and all hmm so these are the steps so fermenting then difference between fermenting and pickling i am telling you fermentation the here generally in fermentation means uh, here carbohydrates to alcohol and carbohydrate will convert to alcohol and carbon dioxide or organic acids to produce a pickling it, it also it may be occurring in the pickling here the pickling is the it is fermenting it is in context of food and here pickling is the process of preserving the food by allowing the anaerobically ferment in brine in brine it is in context of food so during pickling the fermenting will occur here fermentation is a biochemical process in which energy is extracted from the sugar without the use of oxygen so fermentation by yeast and is in the basis of hmm, is the basis of alcoholic beverage generally fermentation alcoholic beverage will be manufacturing we can recollect in case of pickling means the jar and lid are first it is boiled in order to sterilize them then fruits and vegetables are added to the jar with the brine and vinegar just now in the picture you, you might have see this is how they are adding Hmm? so and allowed to the ferment until we will get the desired taste so they will be allowed that one to deal to get the desired taste that is what pickling fermentation the origin of fermentation means it occurs naturally in fruits from the ancient time so however the earliest evidence of wine making okay so this is what and pickling is it began as a way to preserve of the uh, preserving the food for out of season use for long journeys means mango mango will not get in all the season so what they will do now it is available so they will take the raw mango then they will uh, do the this pickling will be done and next it throughout the year mango can be consumed as we know the mango is very nutritious nutritious so foods here used in the, here fermentation means mainly beer wine cider pickling is vegetables meats it can be pickled for the preservation so this is what where and all i will be using fermentation and all no so in case of pickle we have to understand in these terms so different types of pickles which are commercially available Uh, pickles like uh, two types of uh, fermented pickles and unfermented pickles so fermented pickles again they are classified into brine pickle oil pickle vinegar pickle sweet pickle so brine pickle means name only it will tell salt cured pieces 
they will cure the curing means they will keep it for some time okay salt cured pieces are freshened and preserved in fresh brine and vinegar for brine pickles minimum prescribed salt will be 8 to 12 percent we have to remember for brine pickle 8 to 12 percent of salt is permitted sometimes even 16 percent as i already mentioned this is that 16 percent also called as a brine pickle and addition of spices it will help to improve the flavor of the brine pickles so th then salt is the main thing then they will add the other spices to increase the to improve the flavor next oil pickles see in case of oil pickle the salt stock is washed to reduce the salt to 5 to 6 percent salt stock means i told you 16 percent again what they will do they will wash that one so as to it will retain means it will come to 5 to 6 percent of salt then they will cover with the oil cured mango lime gooseberry chillies mixed vegetables are pickled with 5 to 6 percent salt the contents le are left for the 4 to 8 days with the occasion of mixing they will be kept in the oil then they will be mixing edible oil is poured over the pickle to form a thick layer then oil layer creates an anaerobic condition so that oil layer will be there na no? so that will create the anaerobic condition then fermentation will be occurring next vinegar pickle so in case of vinegar pickle the brine is drained from the salt cured product they will be draining it out brine and excess salt is removed and the material is kept in a plain vinegar with 2 to 3 percent of salt for the several weeks then vinegar is added to one third of the total product so this is what vinegar now whatever i am explaining you i am able to recollect what my mother will be making in the house all the different type of a pickle means how they will be making you people can also imagine that one how our mothers will be making in the house it is almost relevant then sweet pickle the salt cured pieces are freshened and pickles are prepared with addition of sugar or jaggery and selective piece spices are added the salt concentration is about 5 to 8% and the sugar will be 40 to 60% is added so only it is called as a sweet pickle this also uh, my mother will be making like um, jaggery she will be adding we will call it as a sweet pickle mango same here salt cured pieces will be freshened same like that only she the here also they are adding sugar or jaggery correct so the salt will be like very less only but more jaggery she will be adding and unfermented pickles in some pickles such as lime lemon immature mango pickles are these pickles are prepared prepared without undergoing fermentation in this picture also this is the meat pickling so now this table will tell us that how much the difference between fermented sweet pickle fermented sour pickle unfermented pickle and salt stock pickle see salt stock pickle more salt 15% sugar is nothing vinegar is also nothing only 15 so it can be stored until it is required then wash out the salt and repack the unfermented pickle this is what generally will be done for in case of gooseberry it can be done salt stock pickle and unfermented pickle this is about 3% of the salt is used and 1% of the sugar and 5% of the vinegar unfermented pickle okay and pack straight away and pasteurize here pasteurization and fermented sour pickle see in case of fermented sour pickle sugar is not added in case of sweet pickle see sugar is added this is the difference remaining everything is same in case of the fermented sweet and sour only sugar is the difference 
in both the cases 5 to 3 percent of sugar is added 5 percent then 3 percent and only in sweet 1 to 2 percent then 3 percent of the sugar will be added and here both the cases 0 to 5 percent of the vinegar is added and it will be ferment both the cases for 1 to 2 weeks then repacked in vinegar salt sugar and pasteurization is optional so in preparation of pickle we have to remember first fruits and vegetables are prepared for the okay so the preparation will be done then we have to add the salt or brine then fermentation will be occurring then pickle will be ready after that we have to add the spices and oils then we have to fill the pack or we have to seal, seal it by adding the oil seasoning can be done so the principle of lactic acid fermentation so lactic acid bacteria these are a group of bacteria that produce lactic acid by the fermentation of carbohydrates ok carbohydrate is a source where the fermentation will occur the end product of the fermentation is lactic acid so these are they are the most desirable group of bacteria in food preservation lactic acid bacteria are most desirable bacteria in case of the food preservation so they play an important role in fermentation of many foods like sordo bread sorghum beer fermented milks fermented cassava pickled vegetables so these so nicely how it will happen i will tell you the lactic acid bacteria these are the diverse group of organism that occur naturally and they are very adaptable to range of condition very adaptable see first what happens the fermentation carried out by the lactic acid bacteria it will not require the oxygen ok so because of this fermentation does not cause the drastic changes to the composition of the food because oxygen is not required and the whole basis of the lactic acid fermentation centers on the ability of the lactic acid bacteria to produce the acid then it will inhibit the growth of other non desirable organism after that a typical as lactic acid fermentation which is involved in several types of lactic acid bacteria all of which are tolerant of a different temperature and acid concentration and also it produces the different compounds like I will tell you these are the leconostoc mesenteroids it will produce the acid and gas lactobacillus plantarum it will produce the acid and small amount of the gas lactobacillus cucumeris it will produce acid and small amount of the gas again this is also lactobacillus pantoacetus it produces the acid and gases ok so now I will tell you so there are also a range of undesirable bacteria also present in the on the surface of uh, vegetables ok that may that can interfere with the fermentation process so now these bacteria should allow it will it will unchuck means it will stop that other bacteria undesirable bacteria to grow so the quality of fermented vegetables depend on the how well undesirable organisms are controlled during fermentation so in a typical fermentation the first microorganisms are leuconostoc mesenteroids ok so it will the it will produce lactic acid until it reaches 0 0.25 to 0 0.3 percent that is it then as the acidity increases this leuconostoc species starts dying this is what I liked here so nicely first it will start producing this leuconostoc mesenteroids it will start producing this much of concentration of 0 0.25 to 0 0.3 as the acidity start increasing now it will start dying then it will die then lactobacillus plantarum species it will take over that will continue until the acidity 1.5 to 2 percent see how it will just like cocoa 
will play na it will give it will tell to co to this one it will give co to this lactobacillus co cucumeris so next it will produce then they this will be inv inhibited by the low temperature and high salt con concentration up to here it will produce then because of the high salt and low temperature it will die then the last bacteria in the chain are lactobacillus sorry lactobacilli pentocyticus it will continue to produce the fermentation up to until acidity 2 to 2.5% so the end product of the normal fer fermentation are lactic acid along with a smaller amount of the acetic acid and propionic acids gases small amount of the alcohol and mixture of uh, aromatic compounds this will give the very characteristic taste of a uh, pickled vegetables this is what how the it will occur so the fermentation okay the, this is the ferm principle of uh, fermentation now the factors affecting the fermentation temperature salt concentration and all so the several factors like temperature salt concentration ph oxygen availability nutrient availability so temperature is the different bacteria tolerate different temperature most have an optimum of between the 20 to 30 degrees celsius although some prefer higher temperature that is about 50 to 55 and other will be colder that is 15 to 20 degrees celsius so most lactic acid bacteria will work at a temperature of 18 to 22 degrees celsius and look look on stock species it will initiate the fermentation it will have the optimum of 18 to 22 degrees celsius so lactobacillus species it will have the temperature optimum like 22 degrees celsius so this uh, variation of just few degree from this temperature alters the activity of microbes and affect the quality of the final product ok so salt concentration lactic acid bacteria tolerate high con salt concentration so this is also I already told you how this while explaining the fermentation how the which bacteria is not tolerating the high salt concentration which will have ok so on the basis of that so this principal function of the salt is to withdraw the juice from the vegetable and make the favorable in environment for fermentation so salt is generally added to give the final concentration how much it should be 2 to 2.5 percent of the acid so at this concentration that lactobacilli are slightly inhibited but the leuconostoc are not affected so ph also so optimum ph for the most bacteria is near neutral ph, pH that is 7 so certain bacteria are acid tolerant and it will survive at the reduced ph levels both lactobacillus and strep streptococcus species are acid tolerant and oxygen availability some of the fermenters are anaerobes while others require oxygen so some of the lactobacilli are microphilic means it requires less small amount of oxygen nutrients so all bacteria require source of nutrients for the metabolism so the fermenters require carbohydrates as i always telling that carbohydrate is the source of for the fermentation to occur so simple sugars such as glucose and fructose are the co are complex ones such as starch and cellulose will act as a nutrient and the energy requirement for the microbes are very high so limiting the amount of substrate available can reduce the rate of fermentation so if i want to reduce the fermentation just we have to limit the amount of substrate next comes to filling so after this the filling so it has to be heated the hot filled about 80 degrees celsius and in a clean and sterile jar 
then the it has to be prevented uh, from the cracking and polythene pouches are sometimes if it is used means it should be cooled at to room room temperature before filling we should not we can't make hot fill so fermented pickles are filled into clean sterile jars then it should be like good hygiene during the filling it is important to ensure that there are there are no air bubbles trapped in a pickle during filling a layer of good quality vegetable oil should be poured on the top of the fermented which will act as a seal and helps to prolong the shelf life then adding the salt or brine so for pickling any type of common salt is suitable for the as long as it is pure na no? so it is suitable so salt that contains chemical to reduce the caking should be avoided as the chemical will make the brine cloudy what chemical they may be cypernet and all they will be adding so it has to be reduced in the salt and salt with the lime impurities can reduce the acidity and shelf life of the product will be reduced salt with iron impurities it will cause the blackening of the vegetables so it is important that what salt we are adding generally the fine powder salt will not be added in the salt uh, pickle stone salt will be there na that one will be using so salt with magnesium it will give the bitter taste to the pickle so they may be fortifying with the salt will be fortified with iron and all so that one if you are using in the pickle then the blackening because it will react with the metal so salt containing carbo carbonates it will also result in the soft texture salt provides a suitable environment for the lactic acid bacteria to grow and lactic acid ya lactic acid that they produce gives uh, the pickle the characteristic flavor and preserves the vegetables salt can either be added to the vegetables so, uh, so then the dry salt are made into a brine or the vegetables are soaked in okay so this is what uh, how it can be done so dry salted pickles uh, the salt extracts okay salt extracts juice from the vegetables and creates the brine then for every 100 kg of the vegetables 3 kg of the salt is needed this is approximate so alternate layers of the vegetables about 2.5 cm deep then salt is salt are placed in ferment fermentation container until it is about the 3 quarters full so the contents are covered with the cloth that is weighed down to help with the formation of brine as soon as the brine is formed the fermentation starts and bubbles of carbon dioxide gas will starts appearing then brine pickle brine is used for the vegetables that are naturally low in water that 15 to 20% of salt solution is prepared by dissolving the salt in water and vegetables are submerged in a brine using weights to hold them under the solution and container is sealed the strong brine draws the sugar and water out of the vegetables and it will decrease the salt concentration of the brine so it is important that salt concentration does not fall below the 12 percent as fermentation will not be able to take place so extra salt is added periodically to maintain the strength and strength of the brine and also the spices spices and oils will be added the spices used it should be good quality clean and it should be free from the mold and insects there are chances are there in the spices these contamination so we have to clean it 
and if it require we have to roast and it has to be fried before adding to the pickle mixture then the amount of type of spices added it is depending upon the person taste what you like then starter culture the starter culture are used to speed up the fermentation and ensure the consistency between different batches of the pickle so because they are acidic the starter culture inhibit the growth of undesirable organisms so if it is possible to use the fermented pickle juice that has been saved from the previous fermentation as the starter culture okay so it will also inhibit the activity of leuconostoc bacteria so now oil so vegetable oil is added to the pickle and it is often mixed with the spices to make the paste so oil is also poured uh, as i already told over the pickle which is act as against oxygen the barrier against the oxygen top quality vegetable oil is used it has to be used okay then we can avoid the oxidation see here you can see the different type of pickles it is fully salivating correct so nice hmm different gooseberry mango lemon chili hmm so many different types of pickles you can see and different varieties different recipes finally packaging we have to pack it in a clean glass jar with a lid okay with the proper lid then small quantity can be added in the polythene pouches so generally the equipment must be thoroughly cleaned each day to prevent the contamination by the insect and microorganism so this is what how the technology behind the preservation of pickles now chutney in the picture you can see different type of chutney green chilli red chilli hmm and pudina chutney so many different chutneys with what and all we can have so chutney is a it is a type of condiment used in a traditional east indian foods chutney is a thick sauce of a indian origin that contains fruits vinegar sugar and spices and it is used as a condiment so the it may be the liquid or semi liquid substance which is served with the food or uh, it will add the moistness and also flavor the term chutney means it include variety of the sauces types of foods like uh, the mainly the ingredient is herb so maybe the mint as a flavoring agent and also ginger chopped fruit and vegetables and simmered with the spices onion sugar and vinegar fruit based chutneys are usually cooked and then it is canned after that it will be refrigerated so fruit chutney this is a fruit chutney this is powder chutney flax seed chutney this is pudina coriander chutney hmm ingredients also you can see how they will be adding roasting first they are roasting all the ingredients first what they are roasting hmm how they are making into powder this is fruit chutney this is mango powder red chilli powder hmm sugar salt dates soaked in a warm water then mix with then very nice chutney will get then fruit chutneys are most commonly it is available which uh, may be mango chutney apple apricot cranberry date pa papaya peach pear pineapple plum tomato okay they and mixed fruit also to the resins and nuts here you can see hmm so it will give the very good texture and it may be the by adding all this one the result will be sweet sour spicy hot versatile blend sweet sour spicy hot versatile blend is a chutney so it is a adventure for taste buds so special spices commonly used in fruit chutneys like chili powder or red pepper flakes are the most common and others it will include the ginger just now i told garlic turmeric curry powder hmm grounded one and uh, 
cardamom, cinnamon, spices, these are the spices, cloves, coriander seed, cumin, fenugreek, mustard seed, nutmeg, then other seasoning may be included salt, pepper, sugar, tamarind, vinegar and lemon juice. Hmm? So chutney can also be used as a side dish, sandwich spread, dip and accompaniment to the cheese and crackers are as uh, ingredients to enhance the flavor of the flavor of everyday dish like chicken salad and casseroles even in veg dishes also so several different factors contribute the preserved nature of this product how the it is preserved the acidity that is low ph of the chutney it will prevent the growth of several spoilage of the pathogenic bacteria mold and also yeast because of the acidity and low ph it will it will stop the growth of pathogenic organisms the acidity is derived from the added vinegar and natural acid of the fruit natural acid mango it will have its own acidic all fruits it will have its own that when only it will act as against the these pathogens cooking the mixture of uh, cooking the mixture to concentrate it lowers the available moisture low moisture content so we will be cooking so it will be moisture will be reduced so it which is needed for the moisture which is needed for the microbial growth that is reduced the cooking step also kills the most of the microorganisms which are present. Then the processing, the filled jar in a canners use the additional heat to kill the spoilage organisms that might contaminate the product as the jars are filled okay, and to produce the vacuum seal for a later storage. Then they will be doing the vacuum sealage for the storage. If the two piece canning, okay, the two piece canning lid is applied correctly, the air is driven out of the head space while the jars are in the canner and the vacuum seal is formed upon cooling. And the most chutneys, uh, boiling water canning process is adequate, but the other foods may be require pressure process. So, during the storage in the sealed jar, oxygen and additional microbial contamination uh, is kept from the product. Okay. So, too much of oxygen left in the jar will cause the interactions with the food components that will lead the quality losses. So, um, and also it will lead to undesirable changes in the color, texture and flavor. So, we have to take care while sealing the jar. So, we can avoid the microbial growth. The mainly, so this is about the chutney. Now, we will talk about the sauces. So, mainly in case of sauces, the sauces are, are based on the principle of heating and reducing various liquids with aromatic wine and herbs to melt, concentrate and balance the flavor and consistency. A wide range of products can be categorized as uh, acid preserves. May, as uh, whatever I we told that includes thick sauce, mayonnaise and salad dressing and clear pickles, sweet pickles, relishes, fruit chutney and condiments. These and all are categorized as uh, acid preserves. So, it would be impossible therefore to cover all the these things uh, that is it is important characteristic that is the vegetable or a fruit texture in case of the sauce consistency and rheology uh, for the product color and appearance ok the emulsion stability and mouth feel how all these things can be maintained it is just because of the acidity and water activity. So, sauces add the flavor, texture, moisture, moistness, viscosity and I appeal to the dish. Over the samosa when you are adding sauce, this and all it will help.
texture, moistness, viscosity means it will eye appeal. Everything together it will catch the that it will attract that product. So, it will add the contrasting or complementary flavors to the and uh, flavors and also color to the plate thereby keeping the dish interesting and appealing throughout the throughout the dining experience correct so this is the uh, sauce importance of sauce and uh, the preservation of the vegetables and fruits in the form of sauces pickles um, that is how it is we as we already studied same like that only in sauce also so we know that thick sauce and thin sauce so sauces can be sweet sour spicy savory and may be added to the food to become a um, main um, this is a part of a main dish it is a part of main dish okay which will be there with the main dish it will give the additional texture so ma the common property of pickles sauces and all it is a preservation system is common so same here also the uh, the ingredients and also the lactic fermentation is a common here because ingredients are similar so the acidity may be then the main contributor to the preservation but the number of other factors may also be operating such as the salt or sugar content and other dissolved solids the water activity presence of preservatives the thermal process it will given to the product and storage temperature so it is it used to be that self preserving whatever the content the ingredients are there na so because of that it will act as a self preserving so it will have the long um, shelf life so once it is opened so it it, ha it have to be refrigerated after opening so thick sauce it consist of a mixture of comminuted vegetables fruits and spices and thick medium like sugar salt and vinegar for that flours starches vegetable gums it will be added to give the thickness example tomato ketchup so here in the in kannada we will call it as a karindi sauce and all na so in uh, in house also they will be making this is the spaghetti sauce so they will be this is what when if we go through so before that how nicely they are doing the blanching here hmm? these are the steps see in the picture you can see first they will do blanching this is what in big you can see then the, they will make it puree cook it puree then filtering hmm? they are packing into the bottle now the spaghetti sauce is ready this is also fermented hot sauce they will be sometimes they will be keeping in uh, for fermentation hmm? so nice taste it will be having see here sauce and all so the basic principle of preservation method for the sauces is addition of sugar and acid maybe the acetic acid or vinegar are combined with concentration of the mixture of heating to okay addition of these ingredient ingredients and Uh, also they will do the heating to reduce the water content this is the basic principle so the technical brief it will describe to make chutney and the sauces like um, here the range of fruits and vegetables can be used mainly the tomatoes are used more because of this acidic content so we can add the fruit and vegetables n number of thing and uh, the spices also according to the local taste and availability it can be made so sauces ketchup paste these and all purees it will be the thick viscous liquid it is made from the pulped fruit and vegetables salt sugar vinegar are added to the pulp to preserve the product 
and sauce is a pasteurized to remove the spoilage microorganisms we have to remember pasteurization okay so if the sauce and con ingredients used if sauce and purees are heated further to remove the more water uh, they can be made into paste then quality control so we have to keep the hygiene condition so that the total acidity into 100 is equal to not less than 3.6% of the mm, this into bracket 100 into total solids so total so acidity by using this one we will be calculating the acidity of the product so preservation index how much acidity is there so sauce and chutney it is a quality assurance we have to select and preserve preparation of the fruit and vegetables then we have to sort that one means we have to mm, grade it then we have to remove the the remove those that are means over ripen has to be removed and rotten has to be removed the good one has to be taken and we have to leave under the ripe products to ripen and also we have to use at a later date so first after grading we have to wash that one in a clean water then it has to be blanched in a hot water for 5 minutes then the skin will be softened and also it will destroy the enzymes which will cause the oxidation which are not required the blanching will help to kill sorry it will inactivate the uh, enzymes and it will kill the microbes so after blanching they should be cooled and also the plunging into cold water then some fruits should be peeled before it is used then the fruit and vegetables are chopped according to the recipe then that preparation we have to prepare the jars and lids for the glass jars it has to be sterilized washed properly then it has to be boiled for 5 minutes after filling so pulp and juice extraction for sauce also it be done the acidity of the pulp should be 4 or lower than that one so the maximum amount of that will be taken the extraction and in the muslin cloth it will be extracted it will be sieved after that one we have to add these ingredients spices has to be added for the taste as per the taste we have to then chemical preservatives may be like sodium benzoate will be added so we should be very much conscious that how much sodium benzoate it is recommended that 0.02% which will act as a preservative so only that much of it can be added and it oh, it is not required if otherwise if it is addition is more then it will it will spoil the taste the taste will not come it will spoil that consistency also so only the 0.2% is is it is recommended then heat treatment has to be given so the mixture of pulp mm, and added ingredients in a large open pan so it has to be heated and next it has to be stirred continuously then after that it can be slowed by the uh, it can be preserved by the slow heating once this process is done after that filling and packaging so the in sterilized bottle it has to be packed where i already told you we have to keep it ready then now it has a come the time that we have to fill that one next pasteurization so for the pasteurization we have to fill after filling the heat treatment will be given maybe the large pan or water bath and the heat will be given that uh, already in the picture we have seen the pasteurization those jars will be immersed in the water next it will comes to cooling and storage so it has to be cooled the bottles to the room temperature then by immersing them in the clean and cold water if the bottles are cooled too quickly then it will crack or break so slowly it has to be done then high acidity of the sauces and chutneys will give the 
long shelf life up to 12 months generally in home and all chutney will be prepared for few days but it can be for some chutneys in andhra pradesh and all so 12 months it can be that is tomato chutney in the market nowadays it is available chutneys also like pickles sauces hmm? the product should be stored in a cool and dry place which is away from the direct sunlight to prevent any changes in color of the product so this is about the preservation technology behind the pickles chutneys and sauces so goodbye for today for any enquiry you can call or whatsapp to the number available on the screen and we'll meet again on the same platform hope you will continue your preparation with iios.com thank you